everybody, welcome back to another Plan Me video this week. In this video, we will be setting up for week 11 of the year. Oh, if you like this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and tell your friends that I post a new Plan Me video every single Sunday. And without further ado, let's get started on the plan with me. I'm using watercolors once again. Purple and pink to be exact. To be honest, the pink wasn't showing up at all on camera, so I had to edit it a lot. And now I think the pink is showing up way too much. It's a lot more muted in person, trust me. But as you saw in the beginning, I am just using the color from a regular Crayola marker and I'm using a really, really bad paintbrush. At one point, the bristles just completely fell out of the brush and I just kind of mm, stuck it back in there with some super glue and then it held up for the rest of the time. Yeah, this brush is absolutely horrible. It just, it's not firm. It spreads out a lot, and so I just kind of gave up and just smashed the ink onto the paper. Whatever. <laughs> it worked out pretty great. But yeah, there's that. I finished with painting the butterfly doodles and then the little flower doodles on the bottom, and I felt that the spread was pretty empty and white and plain. So I decided to add a little faded muted clouds of color in the center of the pages and at the border of the pages just to add a little bit of color to the pages because it did look like a lot of white space and then as usual I wrote the month name onto the side with big bold Giorgio letters I think that's the font name and then I went ahead and did the boxes of the week in the middle of the pages I only did six so there's just a weekend box which is fine by me it works for me after the paint dried up and my pages were dry, I went back in with my Micron pen and added the little details of the butterflies and the little plants because that is the theme for the month. If you haven't watched March's monthly plan with me video, I highly recommend it. It has the most views of all my plan with me so far. It only comes second to my ARC system review from Staples that I posted years ago. So this channel is growing and that kind of makes me really excited. If only my Instagram would grow too. Follow me on Instagram at Plan Like That, the same way it's spelled here for close-up shots of all my Plan With Me spreads. And in case YouTube doesn't notify you when I post a new video, I always notify you on my Instagram as well. By the way, I did record a second angle of this plan with me. However, the second camera just focused on my hand instead of focusing on the paper, which totally defeated the purpose of the second camera. So I had a hard time deciding whether or not I wanted to put that footage in the video because I know looking at blurry footage gives me a headache. So I, I was wondering what your thoughts were on it, if I should have just kept that blurry footage or not. I decided to slap both on there so you could, you know, decide for yourself how it would look like. But, um, but yeah, it's not really in sync. But, uh, let me know how, how does it make you feel. Because I didn't want you to just look at the back of my hand again, because that's boring. But that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and tell your friends that I post a new Play With Me video every single Sunday. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe. I've been looking at my analytics lately, and the most people that watch this are not subscribed. Why? Let me know in the comments down below. Do I want to know? Is that a scary thought? I literally do the same thing with some of the YouTubers I watch. So is this karma coming back to me? I don't know. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye!